To access the admin portal, visit account.fastfoodersports.com and log in using the email and password associated with your FastDraw account. Only the account admin will be able to access this site. However, once on here, the account admin can assign more users admin properties. When you've logged in, you'll be taken to the account users page where you'll see on the left-hand side, the name of all the users associated to this account. You'll also see which email address that they're using to access this account. If they have admin properties, you will see that the checkmark box has the checkmark in there. And if they do not, it will be a blank checkmark box. To assign someone admin properties, simply click on the blank box. You'll see it load, and then there'll be a check mark. To remove them from being an admin, simply select that same box and it will uncheck itself. You'll also see on this page, what products are associated to this account, how many seats are in use, how many are available, and when it expires. So for FastScout, you can see we have two out of our 20 seats available, uh, in use, sorry, so there's 18 available, and then it expires on the June 2nd, 2023. Fast draw reviews four out of our four seats and expires on June 2nd, 2023. To add a user, simply click the add user button here under your team logo. You'll be prompted with this information here where you enter the email address of the user you want to assign, as well as their first and last name, and you can assign a password. In terms of product seats, you can click on here and you'll be able to add fast draw, fast draw tablet, fast recruit, or fast get, depending on what you have available on your account. If we're adding players, for example, we'll add them to Fast Scout. And when we select the role, we'd be selecting as a player. If we're adding a coach, we can unselect that. So coach or scout, depending on what roles you want to give them. And you might also want to assign them a seat for Fast Draw Tablet. So select all that, enjoy all the other information, and then you can hit save. Alternatively, once they're in here, you can also click this edit icon on the side in line with the user. And you'll be able to edit the information. So if this person has forgotten their password, I can reset it for them. Or if they're moving on to a different role or if they're leaving, I can also delete them by clicking the trash can icon. Well, in here, if I decide that I don't want to give this user two fast draw seats, I want to give them only one, I can assign that there. Make the change and hit save. Just to note here, fast draw and fast draw tablet, the number of seats are regarding how many devices that one user can use. So here you can see with two seats, I'll be able to access FastDraw on my work laptop as well as my personal computer without having to deactivate each time. Whereas this person with only one seat, if they are hoping to use it on two devices, they'll have to constantly deactivate between devices. So they will never be able to log in to more than one at a time. From the admin portal, you can also go to the account details tab here and that will load up another page. When you hit the edit account button, you'll be able to change some of the information associated to your account. So the first thing would be your team name, team nickname and abbreviation. By default will be your name and account. However, here, if we go Chicago, Hawks and Shy, then you can also change the primary colors. So, and the secondary colors. So you can use your sliding scale here. It's like the most appropriate color. If you know the hex code, you can enter it there. You can select this arrow here and you can go through different options. So let's say we wanted to make our account green and the secondary color yellow, you can do so there. You can also upload an image. So I already have one associated here. If I want to upload a different one, choose file, select the file that you want to add and it will load here shortly. And other options include what kind of units of measurement you'd like to see. So centimeters, inches, height, weight, kilograms or pounds, or country, some information about yourself. You can enter all that here. And then hit the save account button. That will load. It will tell you that you can't update it successfully. Then we can hit the refresh button. And you'll see all those changes come into play. So you'll see that all the colors in the banner, the name, the logo, everything's changed based on what we've put in. Even something as small as these uh, accent lines here, the check mark boxes, all that has started to update based on our account colors now. Hopefully this helps you get set up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at fastpedalsports.com. Thank you.